What's going on everybody? I'm heading off into the rainforest of Costa Rica to find another creature to bite or sting me to add to the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. Now normally I tell you exactly what it is I'm looking for or what I found, but this time, it, to me at least, it's a total mystery. There's so many animals, so much biodiversity in Costa Rica, who knows what we're gonna find. I'm super excited to find something to add to the Sting Index. Let's go. Whatever we do find, if I can't identify it correctly, we will head back up to cell service. I'll do a little bit of recon and we will make sure that not only is this worthy of the bite sting index, but that it's not gonna send me straight to the hospital because that's not the intent. Okay, enough talking, more searching. We gotta find something. What kind of stuff do you look for, Mark? I'm just looking for anything that catches my eye. Like one of the uh, real tactics to looking for animals is to trust your instincts. If you feel like something looks out of place, it is out of place. If you feel like you see movement and you can't identify exactly what it is, you did see movement and you need to go toward that signal. Now, I don't know if we're looking for something that's flying. I don't know if it's crawling. I don't know if it's on a tree. I don't know if it's like coming out of the ground. I literally am looking for anything and everything that could be a good fit for this video. But it's very early morning. Things are just starting to come alive. You can start to hear the rainforest starting to wake up. You can hear the sounds. Um, and I have a good feeling, you know, within the next 30 minutes to an hour, we're gonna find something pretty sweet. Got a leaf cutter ant trail. Not much action though, geez. Oh, look at that, soldier leaf cutter ant. No other ones though, looks lost. Ah, ah, he's got me. Ah, let me show you guys this real quick. Ah, this is soldier leaf cutter ant. Oh, and they can bite really hard. Oh. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna get me that fast. Ah, get off, buddy, get off. Ah, they will not let go. Let go, let go, let go, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, wow, that hurts. Oh, get off me, get off me, get off me. Ah, oh, I can't get it off, I can't get it off. He's stuck, he's like, like a bear trap. Look at that, there's only one soldier out today. Thought maybe he was lost or sleepy, but he is wide awake. Wow. Oh. Ah, I just keep twisting the knife. Oh, give me a stick. Give me a stick. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ah. 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 <laughs> Good morning to you too, but I've already ranked those. Yeah. Oh, what was that? See, so he's gonna. I saw, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. No, nothing. All right, keep him. Let's go. This is really putting my skills to the test. I almost never go out anymore without a specific target in mind. But I just know the brain force, we gotta find something. Like What's this ant? What's that? I've never seen an ant like that. Oh, he's got jaws. Whoa, sure does. Okay, we gotta get a closer look at this. Okay, I don't need the net. Look at that. <gasps> he's got like, it's like a hammerhead ant. You guys see that? I mean, it looks like it bites, but I don't know if it stings. I've never seen an ant like this. Okay. Let's see if we'll just crawl up. This is a good. Got it. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? Whoa. Guys, get in here tighter with the camera. Can you get a shot of those mandibles? Yeah, those are huge. Whoa. It looks a lot like a bulldog ant, a little bit smaller, but like same body shape. I wonder if it stings. All right. Let me, uh, let me try something quick. Okay. I had a feeling I might need these. Let's see if we can spot a stinger. If we spot a stinger, this might be our, this might be our creature for this video. Well, look at that. Oh yeah, I see a stinger flying. Oh yeah, definitely stinging away. Like its mandibles go all the way out 90 degrees. Looks like a ham, it's like a hammerhead ant. That is crazy. Man, I think we might've hit the jackpot with this, guys. Oh, you hear that? That thing just snapped. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get cell signal. I wanna find out what this is. 
Ah, guys, I don't have service. We're gonna take this ant with us, mark this location, we're gonna head back up with our, I'm calling it the hammerhead ant for now, to see exactly what it is that we just discovered. Let's go. Ah, there we go. Woo! All right, finally got some service. Let's see what we got. Guys. What is it, Mark? I think we got a good one. You guys will take a guess at what this ant is named. It's not a hammerhead ant, just to give you a hint. What do you think? The vice grip ant. That's pretty close, actually. What do you think, Asa, anything? Uh, the jaw cutter? Jaw cutter, no. That's, I like that name, though. It could easily have been that. However, does this is this the ant? That's the ant, right? Right there? That looks just like it. Okay, you guys are gonna love this name. Drum roll, please. What we have found this morning is the trap jaw ant. And get this, it has the fastest bite of any animal on the planet. That's what we were hearing this morning. That clicking sound is because they are able to shut their uh, jaws at such velocity that it makes an audible clicking noise. I cannot believe I've never heard of this species before. And I'm, I'm reading here that it has the fastest appendage of any animal, let alone the jaws, the fastest appendage of any animal snapping its jaws shut at 145 miles an hour. Everything's talking about the bike though. Let me make sure it can sting. Oh, here we go. Yes, we were right. We were seeing a stinger. It can absolutely sting. In fact, here's a quick article. It says top 25 most painful stings in the world. Right there, trap jaw ant. This is a perfect candidate for today's mystery creature for the bite sting index. Let's go set up our table and get into it. All right, got our table. Got a few things in my pack that I need to get out. Okay, don't need that. Do need a couple of things though. First things first, it's a nice little, it's probably a better capsule for that ant. Got some forceps. And most important thing, first aid. Oh, can't forget the adventure fuel. Get a little drink. Stuff really helps so much after hiking all day. All right, I need to get all important. Got the EpiPen. This is just in case we have any kind of allergic reaction. Every venom's different. Everybody reacts differently to venom, so I want that on standby. Now I want to transfer this trap jaw ant into a little bit better container so we can get really good footage of it. Okay. Come here. Oh, man, they're fast when they want to be. Hear that click? Oh, man. Now we can see you. You know, it's not the biggest ant ever. I mean, it's certainly not a bullet ant, but the fact that it's rated one of the top 25 stings in the world, it must have pretty potent venom. Now that I'm able to get a closer look at this ant, I can really appreciate how truly bizarre it is. What an unusual creature. It has a super flattened head, almost like a football shape, very alien looking. Its head is so strange, oh! And it's got like this spiked mouth part that it's sticking out, like a proboscis. I wonder if that's gonna be able to make the pain of the bite worse. Whoa, super unusual. And then it has these really long antenna, almost making it look like it has an extra set of legs. You can easily see how this animal could be mistaken for a spider if you didn't know what you were looking at. But I'm ready to get it out of the container and get a closer look at those jaws. I mean, the fastest appendages in the world. Here we go. Now, before I take on this sting test, I wanna thank Raycon for sponsoring this video. They help us bring you amazing videos and sting tests just like this one. I'm always on the go, whether it's trekking through the rainforest or traveling all over the world. But you know what always comes with me? My Raycon everyday earbuds. It takes a lot of travel to get to remote places like this. So listening to music or audiobooks is a big part of my everyday life on the road. Raycon offers amazing audio quality for half the price of other premium audio brands. They feature three customizable sound profiles and offer awesome noise isolation. But when I do need to hear my surrounding, I love the built-in awareness mode. Plus, they stay in place even when I'm on the move. 
When you're in the wild, weather can be unpredictable. So the fact that Raycon earbuds are sweat and waterproof really helps me when I'm on the adventure. Plus with eight hours of playtime and 32 hour battery life, I know my Raycons are up to the task. So click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash brave for 20% off your first Raycon purchase, plus free shipping. Now back to the trap jaw ant. This is actually gonna be really hard to get a good grip on this ant. As soon as I get the forceps close, they get really flighty. Let's see if I can put it on the table, stay up. Just don't want to go through the crap. See how fast it is? Gosh, it's so fast. Oh gosh. No, no, no. Oh, geez. It's jaw snapped so fast it popped it back. Oh no, we lost it. We lost it. Hang on. Okay, let's see if I can. Look at that. Here, get a shot of that. Look at that. Okay. Got it. I don't know for how long. This is very challenging to hold. This ant's exoskeleton is super tough and very slick. These forceps do not want to hold it, but look at that. Definitely see that stinger going. Look at it fishing around. Let's talk about how we're going to rank the trap jaw ant on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. It's going to be ranked on three different factors, intimidation, pain, and aftermath. So at the end of this video, we will combine all three of those factors rated from one to 10 into a final Brave Wilderness BSI, a Bite Sting Index for the trap jaw ant. In terms of intimidation, ants, you know, they're, they're small, right? But they're also mighty. And for an ant with the fastest jaws, the fastest bite in the world, I am super intimidated right now. And I also know this is one of the top 25 stings in the world. Just that knowledge alone and seeing how fast those jaws can snap, where I can hear them like a pop, we're gonna get a good score right off the bat. The pain, we're gonna figure out just here in a second. As far as the aftermath goes, we're gonna monitor the bite and the sting for the next two days to see how bad the swelling, the itching, and all those damage effects are. Starting to get a little sweaty. The nerves are hitting. It's time to officially enter the bite and sting zone with the trap jaw ant. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah, yeah, oh, the stinger's in. You see that sting? Ah, oh yeah, that burns. Yeah, mm, that stinger's stuck in there. Oh yeah, okay, okay. I didn't take a good bite. I didn't take a good bite yet. Hang on, let's just, just give him. Okay, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, that, okay, yeah. Okay, got a bite. All right, I know what it feels like now. Okay, hang on, hang on. You okay, Mark? It's building. That burns really bad. So these stings have three distinct phases. One, when you first get hit, there's like an instant searing definitely feel the stinger go in and the immediate burn. But then the burning starts to build. That's really phase two. And that's, get, that's where it gets a little scary because you don't know how high that flame is gonna rise. And then you see the redness and the swelling. You can even see the swelling that's starting to happen here in my wrist. And definitely the swelling around the sting. It looks like I got hit a couple of small stings. It was tucked up underneath. It hit me once up here maybe once right there, but you can see where it did the most damage, right in the center of that sting. You can see there's a little bit of blood coming to the surface. I definitely took a good pop from the stinger. I intentionally took another bite at the end so I could test the bite, and I think we're ready. It's time to put the trap jaw ant on the bite sting index. Here we go. On intimidation, the trap jaw ant is super bizarre, but is quite small. That said, those snapping jaws do look capable of slicing through skin, and the popping sound it can make is very alarming. Also, I know firsthand just how bad an ant bite can be. It's also worth mentioning that helping its score is knowing that this is ranked as a top 25 sting in the world, which definitely put me on edge. All things considered, I give it a five out of 10 on intimidation. For pain, the sting proved to be worse than the bite. This ant sting burned immediately, injecting my forearm with searing heat. At first, it was a similar feeling to the bullet ant, but not nearly as painful. As for the bite, it was just a very sharp pinch. In total, for pain, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. The aftermath of the trap jaw ant was painful, but manageable, leaving behind only mild swelling and redness two days later, and falling far short of the bone-crushing pain of the bullet ant. 
So for that, I only give it a 4.5 out of 10. All things combined, this ant ranks at a 5.3 on the Brave Wilderness BSI because its snap turns out to be much louder than its bite.